at it, it's Potmosa, and tonight if you join me for yet another episode with our bigger and bigger Ostrif town. Let's get going, let's get to speed 2 straight away as we overview our town and we can see that it goes all the way up here into the distance. Ooh, we can see a few families out of water, but then they decide to pick up some water and then it's done. Alright, well it's winter, so a lot of work is done, but not in the fields. They'll be sown in during the spring. Let's check the graveyard. Because I doubt we have much space left. Only two open spots here, so we'll have to find another place for a graveyard. I think that's good to do, so let's see. First, let's do some trading. Let's sell this, let's sell some salts. Yeah, that's it. Not going to sell anything else, I think. Although we do have still have 7,000 buckwheat at this point. We still have 11,000 potatoes, so that's going quite okay. We even have 6,000 wheat left. We have some flour in store, 270, so that's all looking good. Um, and it's already the end of February, coming close, so that means that then they will do some re sowing again. Alright, let's think about where to put a new graveyard. We're going to build a whole part here, of course. We're going, we are already building some stuff here. Um, but maybe we should do it somewhere here. I think this could be interesting. Some place here. We'll just make it like some sort of a natural graveyard or something like that. We'll be a bit out of town. People can have some, some peace and quiet there. I think we should put in a small chapel. So, um, when somebody comes and mourns, they can go into the small chapel. I think that would be, um, appropriate. Let's see. Let's place it right here. Then we'll put some fencing around it for a bit. Or maybe we can do fencing by just creating a whole lot of bushes close together. That could also be a thing. So create some sort of a fence around this by just placing a lot of bushes close together. Something like this. And, yeah, we can make it slightly bigger here. And then we can go to the front. It's a lot of bushes, but I think that's that's worth it. All right. Now we have to put in a few burial plots, of course. And, yeah, I think this is nice. One, two, three, five. I think we have to remove this and place it a little bit better. In line with the building of the hatches. Yeah, I think I think we'll place it in the corner. And then we can add some extra burial plots. Let's place a few that face it directly. Alright, this is going to be it for now. Uh, thinking about the um, number of um, graves, that is. I think we should uh, place a few benches here. For people to come and sit and mourn. I think that will be good. We'll place um, a few big trees maybe somewhere. We can place one big tree there. And uh, maybe place birdhouses here. Some peace and quiet bird sounds. So this will be the new graveyard area. We can expand it as we need more spaces. Hopefully we don't need that many spaces, of course. We don't want our people to die. Although, eventually they will, from old age. Alright, so the village is out of the snow. A whole new sowing season is starting. Let's go check up on some animals. We have a lot of rams. So let's slaughter a few. Same here, I guess. At least one, two, yeah, that's... Ooh, that's a lot of rams that are one year old. That we can slaughter. Alright, that's it. Well, there go the sheep all over the bridge. Oh, look at that. It would be great if we would see a dog walking as well with them. That would be interesting. Messenger from Balaklia. Anything we want to sell? Well, maybe some sunflower oil, but that's it. Nothing to buy as well, so this is good. Let's go check up on the cows here. Yeah, we have one bull that we or 
bull that we can turn into an oxen. So that could be something. Um, this is filled. I don't think we need oxen anywhere at this point, but it's good to just have them ready. So let's turn this one into an ox. Going to wait with this one. We want this one to become of age first, and then we'll turn it into an ox. So this is it. That's good. Oh, we can check this one, of course. Yeah, there's one extra ox to be created. One here as well. So now we have four oxen. That could be interesting. Ah, we needed one more for here. Now that we have the oxen available, it could be built. And that could help out. All right, let's check these. We have a one-year-old boar. We have another one-year-old boar. I think we can get rid of those boar. Just as with the others. Don't need that many boars, actually. All right, that's good. In the meantime, a lot of stuff is built. So that's really interesting. We're building this house right now. It's situated right there. Then we're going to build the fishing docks, which will be on the point right here. They'll provide some extra jobs as well. That's good. So, as you can read in the last episode comments, there's been a few comments on the um, computer that I'm using for this. And I know it's not that good. It need, I need a better one to, to keep running this at speed 3 all the time. Um, I am actually saving money for it. And when I do spend it, I, I just want to get a really good computer. Um, so, thanks for all the tips on that and what I should get. Um, so far, I'm just... Um, yeah, saving money for it. So it'll take at least like three or four months before anything new might come. Not saying that it will come exactly then, but it might come. And um, yeah, it, it's just a money thing and I want to do it st right straight away. And to do it that way, yeah, I just I like to take my time saving some money. And of course, I um, I already have these headphones for years, so I have to get a new set of headphones and, and a new microphone and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's going to take a bit of time. But in the end, I know it's worth it. It's going to be worth it, so I'll do it at a certain point. And um, well, let me take the time right now to thank each and every one of you for all the support you've always given me and for all the nice tips and tricks that I get and um, the encouragements and, and, and things that's really appreciated. I um, still enjoy creating videos and doing the live streams very much. It's really great, so thanks a lot for that. Let's get some boats in here. And um, yeah, so one day I'll be um, getting a better computer so I can make even better videos. And of course, if you're watching this and you enjoy this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It's totally free, but it really helps me to be ranked better in the YouTube uh, car recommended videos and stuff like that. The more likes I get, um, the higher it will rank. Of course, if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It's also totally free and it will also help me raise the number of subscribers, help me grow. So that will be awesome if you could do that. And, well, if you just watch the videos, it's also highly appreciated. Always feel free to leave any comment you want to leave. Um, except the spam comments, of course. But all the other ones are most welcome. And I will always try to respond to each comment. It might take me a day or so, but I'll respond to it. I really love this, this game when everything is green like this. It just looks very good. Ah, not a fishing dock ready. Means we can get even more workers in and more boats. They'll provide us with more fish. Let's do apply to all and apply to all again. We should see... Yeah, already the first boat is being built. It's going to be shipped here now by the boatyard worker. And then they can really start to produce some fish. So that's good. Extra jobs. Just a matter of keeping the village growing and growing now. Are we building houses now? Yeah, they're going to build this area first, I think. And then we'll head over to this area. Um, really can't wait for the granary to be done then. Yeah, they're going to build one house there and then the granary. I think I'm going to switch that around. I want the granary done first. 
I think we can already set these up. Maybe they can even bring the goods already. So let's do um, buckwheat, apples, apricots and cherries. Then in this one, hmm, perhaps chicken eggs, chicken meat. Do I have some? Not a lot, so that's maybe not the right one. We'll do firewood, fish, flour, and I think then potatoes. I think that's best. Then we can use this one for all the clothing stuff. So clothing and uh, let's see, shoes and some warm clothing and maybe some sunflower oil. And then the last one can be with a few well, with extra firewood because we really need firewood spread out over town. Um, but maybe we can also tell them to sell something like mutton or whatever if, if it comes available. It won't be available all the time. That's for sure. Uh, maybe some you know, horse meat would be very rare. Maybe some chicken meat and some beef or something like that. Messenger from Merefa. Yeah, we're not going to trade anything at this point. Don't really want to. We still have 4,000 buckwheat now. So I think we can... We can keep a little bit until we do the next harvest. So that's good. Last time we ran out. So finally getting the um, the right amounts in from the harvest again. All right, let's slow it down for a bit so my computer can keep up. Um, all these farms looks good. Yeah, this now has all the oxen that it needs. I think there are still farms that don't have oxen to plow. Are there? Yeah, this farm doesn't have any, so this one has. So I guess we're going to order a few extra plows. And then we can just take a look and see that there's three oxen, two oxen ready all of a sudden. So that's good. Yeah, this one's good too. This has still a little while to go. But this is exactly what I want, getting those oxen out. Yep, yeah, here's another one. Right, we're going to wait a bit now, and then we'll see if we have enough oxen or not. I think we should have. Alright, let's see. Can we sell some salt again? Yes. Can we sell some flax? Yes. Well, that's great. At least it brings in a little bit of money. Which is enough for now, so just that little bit will do. This has all the boats. This one has all the boats now, so this should be bringing in the extra amount of fish that we might need. We already have a thousand fish in store, and that is while it's being sold all the time, so that's really good. And yeah, they can just go with it here with all the uh, fishing boats, that's really interesting. Of course, remember if you build a de smeltery, this is a dam, so our boats can't go here anymore. This just closed off, so always keep that in mind. Do they have some iron ore there? No, they don't, so I think we don't have any iron ore anymore. We do still have iron though, 3,000, so we don't have to worry about it, but if a trader comes along and we can get some iron ore, that might be interesting. We should also start working on a bridge to this isle, as I can see there's still stones left here. Uh, maybe we can use that at a certain point, although I think stone, yeah, we still have 5,000 stone and it's not that much used. Now, if you haven't heard, um, the developer recently brought out a new message stating that they're working on Alpha 5. Um, so that'll be awesome. It will take quite a bit of time before it comes out, actually. But they are working on it. Uh, bringing new buildings, new productions and stuff. So that will be really awesome if that uh, finally gets there. Uh, we'll have to wait. And I'm very patient. But I can guarantee you if it comes out, if it brings new things, then... Um, We'll do, of course, a whole bunch of new series. Now, we've also been talking about new series in the comments, and one of the ideas is to not just build a big town like this, but try a game where we build um, all these separate little towns. So, for instance, we build a town. I'm not going to do it on this map, of course, but if we would do, we would build a town here with, like, 20 houses, and do one here with 20 houses, and, and do one here with 20 houses, and just have them trade amongst them themselves, uh, so, I don't know, we'll do all the farming in this part of town, we'll do all the clothing industry and shoes and stuff here, and maybe try out something like this, some sort of a challenge. Um, 
I'm thinking about it and um, I think it's a good idea and I think it could be really fun to, to try these different things out. Now if you have a great idea of what I could do in an Ostrov game, um, please let me know in the comment section and, and I'll respond to it and I'll take it into consideration and maybe your idea can be brought to light and we can just try that out. Um, I think it would be fun to uh, hear all these different ideas and see what we can do with them, so please feel free to um, to share them with us. I would really love that, I know that for sure. Alright, so town's growing already, extra housing here. I think, yeah, both of these got people that got married from town already, so it doesn't really grow the town. Um, it, it does grow in size, but not, not in um, numbers, so we'll have to be patient. To actually reach 800 people. Now, of course, one of the last series was about reaching a thousand people, and we did. So that is possible, even with this computer. Although I had to run it pretty slow and uh, took time, but yeah, it can it can happen. All right, two more houses coming up. They already brought all the stuff in. That's really good. Well, it'll be interesting to see. Do we have apples and apricots and stuff? Yeah, a bit, but not too many. We do have a lot of cherries, which are also not in here, so maybe we do have workers available. Maybe we should just tell this one to uh, hire laborers by hand for a little while. We can turn that off as soon as we want to. They have a lot of pork here. Do they really sell it anywhere? Oh, yeah, they do. All right, that's good. But yeah, it would be great if they could fill up on some stuff. Yes, it can take from other granaries. That's no problem. Just bring it in here. I think we have a few granaries. Or at least we had a few granaries that are stocking up on stuff. Yeah, like right here. And other granaries should be able to take from this. So that we can use it in other granaries. So we can tell all of these granaries that they can take from others. And then those can't, of course, because otherwise we'll get some sort of a rotation system. This is also here to just stock up on stuff, um, which is nice and useful. But that's why we should tell all the other granaries that they can pick from other granaries. And those that we use for stocking up can't use other granaries to, to fill up. So yeah, this is working. We can now see that they get a lot of stuff in. And they should try to evenly spread things around town. So if there's a lot of buckwheat in one, um, they should bring it to all the other ones so that it, it's um, a little bit even. At least that's how it's supposed to work. Now you know how it is with games. It doesn't always go as how it's supposed. But we'll see. Alright, so these are all married people. So no newcomers. We did get one kit though, so that's interesting. But we'll have to wait and see if we can actually get new people in. Right, this is working. Now we're getting very close to harvest. Yeah, ripening should start now and then in a month we should get to harvest. So I'm going to turn this off now. Because then apply it to all, make sure that that happens everywhere. So that as soon as they deliver something they won't be used there anymore because we need them on the farms. Now let's check. We still have almost 2,000 buckwheat as we get close to um, harvesting. We still have 7,000, over 7,000 potatoes. We have 300 flour. We even have 900 wheat left, so that worked out. We really are growing our stockpile now. Ever so slow, but we are. All right, let's make a deal. Not going to sell any of that. Ooh, we need Horilka, of course. Let's buy all of it. Oh, maybe we should buy some buckwheat as well. That'll help us restore. But that's just a waste of money because we produce our own. Yeah, we need a functioning tavern to grow, which is an issue, of course, but that's why I was buying all that um, drinks, all those drinks, so we can have a functioning tavern. We have two taverns, and if none of them is working, then we might have an alcohol problem. Let's see, do we have some mead? No. Do we have horilka? No. So that's the problem. We totally ran out of drinks. Um, problem is that they already put in the drinks. Um, I know that they were also working on ways to produce your own alcohol, but that's not in there yet. And then, of course, the war started in Ukraine and the developer couldn't continue. So, that's really a problem. I hope they will solve that by making sure that in the patch uh, Alpha 5, 
uh, that we can produce our own alcohol as well, because now we're totally dependent on trade. And I think if we get a big enough village, we won't be able to trade enough. And then people won't be able to get their drinks. And I know some of you watching these videos would be... Um, it would be their biggest nightmare if they couldn't get their drinks anymore, so... I'll have to provide everyone with their drinks. Right, another house is done. We can already see another family married. So yeah, they're married now. Interesting. A lot of people willing to stay. And a lot of people find their soulmate in our village. So, well, that is a good thing, of course. People the um, that um, live here and find their soulmate. The one that they want to share their life with. That should be very good. Burning complete, burning complete, and this is looking for laborers. Yeah, it's harvest now, so you won't find too many laborers at this point. You will get them soon, though. And we still have a burnt pile, so we have plenty of charcoal at this point. Could be a good thing to just empty this out. So that they can start to restock as well. Another house done, and another two people married. Maybe we should call this the Le Let's Get Married Town, because... Everybody that can will get married in this town. Alright, we have three plows there as well now. So, apparently all of our farms now have plows. So we can really do well on that front. Plowing the fields and... Well, five crop rotation can be efficient if those are exactly the crops that you want. On some fields this is just way more efficient. Um... We did set up a few five crop rotations, and now that these have plows, we could do the same here, of course. So it should be um, potato, buckwheat, potato, buckwheat. So three times potatoes, two times buckwheat, and then a fallow field. So we can add this. Let's do it like that. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, let's buy some extra horilka again. That'll be good. That should be it. So let's make a fallow field there. Then we'll do potatoes, buckwheat, and potatoes. Then we'll do here buckwheat and potatoes. Then we'll do the fallow field, and then we'll do potatoes. So this should work out. Hello. Then this should be potatoes as well. Buckwheat, potatoes, and some more buckwheat. Interesting. Potatoes. And potatoes. So this should really help to produce even more, because now not every, now we won't be using the field twice, and then we get a fallow field. Now we'll use it five times, so that is way more efficient. Um, I'm not going to do any changes on this because this is pretty efficient actually. So let's keep it like that. But this should help out, make it so that we can grow even more buckwheat and potatoes, of course. All right, they really emptied this out, so that's good. Um, Stop emptying, so now they can refill it again. Still time for harvest, but they also find time to um, work on this. That's not really supposed to happen. They should be working on the farms. Well, they'll do that soon. It's only September, and they already cleared out these farms, so that worked out well. They'll just do the closest jobs. This farm's completely emptied out. Just some stuff left in the field, but that's not a lot. And that's a good harvest again. This one is busy. Yeah, we're going to get some good stuff again. And then they should really spread it out around town. So I think during the winter, again, we are going to use... Um, ooh, what are these all? Oh, they're all taking firewood. <laughs> Interesting. You can see a long line of people carrying firewood to these charcoal pits. So that they can burn charcoal again. Which is interesting, but I would like to see them working on the fields as well. Oh well, it will all come together. No worries there at this point. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, these are all producing already. We also got a few extra fields, I believe. Yeah, right here. I don't think these are... No, these are not producing yet. They will at a certain point, but that takes some time. It's fine, though. Ah, this one is very good stocked, so that's nice. So during the winter, we will stock up all the granaries again. So I'll just put all of them to hire as many people as they can. 
and then they should be bringing in a lot of stuff. At the same time, these guys are clearing out a few of the trees here, so we can see all the fields better, which is which is nice. All right, let's see. We already got seven thousand buckwheat now. Yeah, eight thousand weed. We stock up on almost three thousand fish. But that's good. That means that we'll have some to spare during the winter. But I really do want everybody to go work in the farms now. Ah, they are. Perfect. This is quite far away, so that means that all the jobs close by that they would normally do as a laborer are now being fulfilled. Uh, are already fulfilled, so that they all go here now. So that's going very quickly. Let's sell some salt, make some money. Let's sell some flax. We should have been getting flax in anyway. Not going to sell any of this, I think. Oh, maybe a thousand sunflower oil. That gives me good money. And that should be it. Ah, they're full hired, so that's good. Ah, a granary is completed. That's great. That means that we can now... Is this the one that I want to copy? Hmm, maybe not. Let's go check. Buckwheat, potato, stuff like this. I don't want meat and horilka in there, because we don't need it in there. Uh, buckwheat, potato, flour, milk, sunflower, apricot, chicken... And yeah, this is the one I want to copy. So let's copy it and click on this granary. Let's copy it now. So now they should be bringing in all of this. I think we can lower pork to like a thousand. But the rest seems to be good. All we have to do now is apply all of the um, personnel things to the different areas. And now they can start to uh, stock up on some goods as well. Ah, they're building the first houses here now. That's good. I think we should put some workers in here then. Um, maybe not men, because men can do other jobs. Let's find another marketplace where it's set up for just women. Yes, apply to all and apply to all. All right. Well, these should now start to get women in and start stocking up on some goods. That's good. It's already November, so it's just this month, and then the snow will come. So they really need to rush now to bring everything in. But all of these farms are already emptied out, so that did work out. This one is almost emptied out. Yeah, they got all the people that they need, so we got it done. Messenger from Derkachi. Let's sell some charcoal. That will give me a good deal. Let's sell some shoes. We have 2,000 in the export stock. I'm only going to sell 1,000. But that's good money as well. Chicken eggs, not really. Sunflower oil, no, not going to sell that. No, not going to sell it. And apples, yes, we can sell 2,000 apples for a good price. All right. We still should have some iron ore since we bought it. Yeah, we have, all right. It's probably quite... Ah, oh, there's still good amounts of horilka in here. And yeah, we can't sell what I was thinking. Let's see, iron ore in here, there's iron ore in here. They're really melting iron. And we still have over 3,000 iron, so that's going well. We have even have a bit more than we had last time when I checked, so that's good. Yeah, this one needs water. I don't think a well is already being built close by. So next thing should be two wells to provide these people with water. Otherwise, they'll just leave again. They got married, so that would mean that we actually lose people. That's not supposed to happen. So those two wells need to be built. A little error there. Should have done that earlier. Well, they're bringing in the goods for it now. Do we have... Yeah, we have 3,000 nails. So that works out. And now this farm will also start plowing soon. Because now we have the um, plows ready. So that's nice. It'll also work quite efficiently, I think. And, uh, yeah, these... Sh oh, they have all the food that they need. And firewood. Now they need some water. Please get me a well. Ah, the wood is there. All they need now is the nails. And then straight up the next one as well. Ah, here comes the snow. 
Well, all the fields were harvested, so I don't really mind the snow. Let's just hope that they build the well in time. Resources are on the way. And they're stocking up on this. Alright, so they can buy what they need in the um, granary now. That's good. Yeah, this works. So we really managed to get through the queue quite a bit. We managed to uh, start a new piece of graveyard. I don't think they already... Yeah, they already used a few graves, so we need to expand it um, quite fast as well. But that's okay, we can do that. And... Um, yeah, they're building the well now. I think. No, still on the way. Ah, here come the nails, I think. Yeah, there's the nails. 40 nails. So let's build this well, come on. Yeah, this guy's building now. It's going fast, then it has to fill a bit. And once it reaches, I believe, 100, they will come in and, and get the water. I hope they won't get too mad before that and leave. Ah, the other well is done too, so that's good. So we don't have to wait until this one reaches 200 for both of them to be able to get some water. They can both reach 100 and then they can grab some water. So that should work out. Let's go speed 3 for a second. Now they immediately build this house as well. So we really do need the water. And of course these people are probably also working. Now of course there's plenty of water around town. But here you can see what happens if you don't have it close by. That'll be an issue. Now one is going to get drinking water. So that's good. Same here. They're going to get drinking water as well. Um, so you really need it close by. They probably pass wells all the time while they just walk around town. But they won't be using them, only the ones close by. And now they need time to refill, of course, and then they can be used by all of the others. Ah, another family get married. Somebody died of old age, so that's going to continue happening. But not too many more on this episode, because this will be the end of it. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, tips, tricks, leave them in the comment section, I will respond to it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.